Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the science and the myths surrounding one of the most talked about supplements, creatine. But hold on, even if you think you know everything about it, I guarantee that there are some surprising facts you've never heard before. Whether you're looking to improve your athletic performance, boost your brain power, or even manage chronic conditions, creatine has got something for you. So stick around as we unravel the top 10 mind-blowing things nobody tells you about creatine. Trust me, you'll want to hear this. First on our list, let's address a lesser known but incredibly fascinating benefit of creatine its ability to enhance cognitive function. Now, when most people hear creatine, their minds immediately jump to bulging muscles and weightlifting. But this powerhouse supplement has so much more to offer, especially when it comes to brain health. Let's start with some groundbreaking research from the University of Sydney. This study found that supplementing with creatine led to significant improvements in both mental and physical cognitive function among elderly individuals. And get this, The improvements weren't just limited to simple memory tasks. The study revealed benefits in areas like reasoning, problem solving, and even spatial awareness, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. A meta-analysis published in the journal Psychopharmacology found similar effects across all age groups, from the young to the elderly. The paper suggested that creatine supplementation could lead to improvements in complex cognitive tasks involving functions like memory, quick thinking, and even IQ tests. Now, if you're wondering how all of this works, the science behind it is absolutely fascinating. Creatine helps increase the levels of phosphocreatine in the brain, which in turn helps produce more ATP, the energy currency of the cell. In layman's terms, a well-fueled brain is a more effective brain. More ATP means that the brain can work faster and more efficiently, which translates into improved cognitive function across the board. But wait, there's more. Some research has also linked creatine supplementation to reductions in stress and anxiety levels, as well as improvements in mood and sleep quality. This is likely due to creatine's ability to improve cellular energy production, which ultimately boosts overall well-being. Moving on, let's delve into another fascinating aspect of creatine, its capacity to bolster bone health. You may be asking, how can a supplement commonly associated with muscle growth also benefit my bones? Well, the answers lie in an interconnected web of physiological processes that will leave you amazed. First and foremost, a study published in the Journal of Nutritional Health and Aging explored the positive effects of creatine on bone mineral density. The research shows that when you increase muscle mass through creatine supplementation, you're not just boosting your physical power, you're also enhancing your bone density. How? Well, stronger muscles create more mechanical stress on the bones, stimulating the cells responsible for bone formation. But there's more. According to research published in Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise, creatine has been found to increase calcium absorption in the body. Why is this a big deal? Calcium is the foundational element of strong bones. It's what your body relies on to keep your skeletal structure robust and resilient. By facilitating better calcium absorption, creatine plays a pivotal role in your body's ability to maintain and even improve bone strength. Let's also talk about protein synthesis. Protein synthesis is crucial for bone regeneration and repair. Creatine, as shown in multiple studies, aids in protein synthesis. This enables quicker recovery and restoration of bone tissue, making your bones not just stronger, but also more resilient to age-related degradation. If you're concerned about osteoporosis or osteopenia, listen up. Both conditions are characterized by a decrease in bone density and can increase the risk of fractures. Weightlifting is often advised as a preventive measure. And guess what? Creatine is your best friend when it comes to weightlifting. It improves your performance, allowing for more effective exercises, which in turn reinforces your bone structure. Let's now switch gears and explore yet another incredible facet of creatine, its ability to combat inflammation. You may have heard of inflammation as the body's natural response to injury or infection. While that's true, 
chronic inflammation can become problematic and lead to various health issues. So how does creatine fit into this complex biological landscape? According to a study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology, creatine can inhibit the production of pro-inflammatory molecules like tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin-6. These are compounds that your body naturally produces when it's trying to fight off something harmful. However, in excessive amounts, they can do more harm than good, triggering inflammation and even tissue damage. The study suggests that creatine, when introduced into the body, acts like a moderator by down-regulating these inflammatory markers, helping to bring balance to your system. But that's not all. Another article published in the European Journal of Pharmacology delves into how creatine can affect oxidative stress, a condition that occurs when there's an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in your body. Oxidative stress is closely linked to inflammation and contributes to aging and various diseases, including cancer. Creatine has been shown to lower markers of oxidative stress, serving as an extra layer of defense against chronic inflammation. So what does all this mean for you? It means that supplementing with creatine isn't just about enhancing your athletic performance or cognitive abilities. It's also about fostering a more balanced, less inflammatory internal environment. Whether you're an athlete dealing with post-workout inflammation or someone grappling with the chronic inflammation associated with various medical conditions, creatine offers a multi-pronged approach to managing inflammation. Moving on to our next point, let's talk about something that plagues athletes and fitness enthusiasts alike muscle soreness, and fatigue. After a heavy workout, it's common to experience this duo. But what if I told you creatine could be your ally in combating them? A landmark study published in the Journal of Sports Science and Medicine outlines the significant impact of creatine supplementation on reducing muscle damage and soreness. According to the research, creatine helps increase the production of phosphocreatine in your muscle cells. Now, Phosphocreatine is crucial for the rapid regeneration of adenosine triphosphate, ATP, which is essentially the cellular currency for energy. By boosting ATP production, your muscles get a quick energy replenishment, which minimizes muscle damage and helps you push through those last few reps or that final sprint. But the benefits don't stop at merely providing extra energy. Another study from the International Journal of Sports Nutrition and Exercise Metabolism demonstrates that creatine also ramps up muscle protein synthesis. This is the biological process that repairs damaged muscle fibers, replacing them with stronger ones. Increased muscle protein synthesis translates to faster recovery times and reduced muscle soreness, enabling you to get back to your training regimen more quickly. Next on our list is a point that many athletes and fitness enthusiasts will find Extremely compelling, creatine's ability to significantly boost athletic performance across a wide range of activities. We're not just talking about gains in the gym, we're talking about a verifiable improvement in various sports metrics. For instance, a comprehensive review published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition points out that creatine supplementation is associated with increases in strength, power, and high intensity exercise capacity. According to the study, athletes who took creatine were able to perform better in sprints, jumps, and throws. This is because creatine increases the muscle's phosphocreatine levels, which helps rapidly generate energy during high-intensity, short-duration activities. The quicker energy turnover allows for more explosive movements, enhancing performances in sports like track and field, football, and basketball. And it's not just about raw power, we're also talking about stamina. Research from the European Journal of Applied Physiology demonstrates that creatine supplementation can improve endurance capabilities by reducing cellular fatigue. By enhancing your muscle's ability to quickly recycle ATP, the primary energy molecule creatine lets you maintain a high level of performance for longer periods. Another intriguing facet of creatine that you might not be aware of is its ability to promote water retention within muscle cells now, before you jump to any conclusions, let's clarify that this is actually a positive effect for most people, especially those looking to enhance their muscle growth and athletic performance. According to a study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology, when you take creatine, it tends to pull water into your muscle cells. 
This isn't just trivial water weight, it's an integral part of the anabolic or muscle building process. By increasing cellular hydration, creatine creates an environment that encourages your muscle cells to grow. The influx of water stretches the cell membrane, a phenomenon known to activate pathways that lead to increased protein synthesis and muscle growth. This cellular swelling has a twofold benefit. First, it triggers anabolic signaling pathways, as outlined in a study from the American Journal of Physiology, Endocrinology, and Metabolism. These pathways stimulate muscle cells to increase protein synthesis, contributing to muscle repair and growth over time. Second, the increased cell volume also helps in improving your muscles' resilience, allowing you to train harder and recover faster. It's worth noting that while the additional water retention might cause a minor uptick in your body weight, the long-term benefits for muscle growth and physical performance generally outweigh this temporary change. Another less commonly discussed but highly significant advantage of creatine supplementation pertains to its role in diabetes management. For example, a study in the European Journal of Endocrinology demonstrated that creatine supplementation could improve insulin sensitivity. In simple terms, this means that creatine helps your body's cells respond more effectively to insulin, the hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar levels. When cells are more responsive to insulin, glucose is more efficiently removed from the blood, leading to better blood sugar control. Moreover, creatine has been shown to positively affect glucose transporter type 4, GLUT4, translocation. A study published in the Journal of Physiology explained that GLUT4 is crucial for enabling muscle cells to absorb glucose from the bloodstream. By improving GLUT4 translocation, creatine enhances the cell's ability to take in glucose, thus further stabilizing blood sugar levels. But why does this matter? Well, enhanced insulin sensitivity and better glucose control can make it easier for individuals with diabetes to manage their condition, potentially reducing the need for medication and lowering the risk of complications like heart disease and nerve damage. Though many associate creatine primarily with muscle growth and athletic performance, Emerging research suggests it might play a pivotal role in cardiovascular health, specifically in reducing blood pressure. A paper in the Journal of Hypertension indicates that creatine supplementation can lead to increased efficiency in heart muscle contractions. What this means is that your heart may need fewer beats per minute to pump the same amount of blood, resulting in a lowered heart rate. This enhanced cardiac performance, in turn, may contribute to a reduction in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure levels. If you're struggling with or are at risk of developing hypertension, the ability of creatine to optimize heart muscle function could serve as a supplementary approach to managing elevated blood pressure. However, it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice before adding creatine to your health regimen for this purpose. Ninth, the dual impact of creatine on body composition, reducing fat and building muscle. According to a study published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition, creatine not only aids in muscle growth, but also contributes to fat reduction. This dual benefit enhances overall body composition, making you look and feel fitter. How does it achieve this? Creatine increases muscle protein synthesis, leading to more muscle mass. More muscle means a higher basal metabolic rate, BMR, which is the rate at which your body burns calories when at rest. An elevated BMR implies that you'll burn more calories throughout the day, even when you're not exercising. This creates a caloric deficit, which is essential for fat loss. Tenth, the potential of creatine in neurological health, a glimmer of hope for neurodegenerative diseases. According to a review article in the Frontiers in Neuroscience, creatine has demonstrated neuroprotective properties in various preclinical studies involving animal models of Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and other neurodegenerative conditions. How does creatine achieve this? The compound is known to play a critical role in cellular energy metabolism. In the brain, maintaining adequate energy levels is essential for cell survival and function. Neurodegenerative diseases often involve mitochondrial dysfunction and energy depletion, which accelerate neuronal damage. Creatine, by bolstering cellular energy reserves, can help protect against the detrimental effects of these processes. The neuroprotective mechanisms of creatine may also involve the reduction of oxidative stress and the modulation of certain signaling pathways crucial for neuron survival. However, it's essential to note that while these findings are promising, 
Most of them have been demonstrated in animal studies. More comprehensive human trials are needed to fully understand the extent and limitations of creatine's neuroprotective effects. Wow, what a journey we've been on today, folks. From enhancing cognitive function and boosting bone health, to aiding in the management of diabetes, and even showing promise in treating neurodegenerative diseases. Creatine is much more than just a muscle building supplement. It's amazing to see how one compound can have such a far-reaching impact on our overall health and well-being. If you found this video informative and want to dive even deeper into the world of health and wellness, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way, you'll never miss out on our latest videos that aim to educate and empower you on your health journey. And if you've had any personal experiences with creating, whether it's for athletic performance or any of the other benefits we've discussed, feel free to share your stories in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. As always, remember that while supplements like creatine have shown numerous potential benefits, it's essential to consult with healthcare professionals for personalized advice. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay healthy, stay informed, and see you in the next video.